Hey guys, this is Richard from Outstep Road. This is the unboxing of the Dark Bay 700 from Be Quiet. We're gonna get an unboxing. We're gonna see what it looks like because this looks absolutely stunning. Especially that this also allows you to do a vertical build in. So let's get right into it. Let me get my <coughs> Stanley Blade. Do not attempt this. Right then, so let's have a little look at this one, is it? Right, so it's got two USB 3s, it's got a reset, RGB, which is by here, it's got headphones, microphone, then it's got a USB type C, then it's got a fan controller on the bot on the front. Then we've got temper glass. Ooh. Then we've got this like, oh, this does come off, isn't it? Okay, we'll do that in a minute now. Right, let's just get this temper glass off, which looks beautiful. This looks really nice. Uh, I wouldn't be, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not the uh, airflow type case, but still nice. Ooh, with that. Ooh, it's got fans pre-installed. Wow. Now it has got exhaust at the top, but obviously this is more like of a workstation type case. So let's take this off. Very nice temper glass. Very nice, very nice. Let's put this by here. Okay, so let's have a look inside. Oh, with that, we've got accessories. Oh. Wow, this looks beautiful, this does. Really nice. What do you expect? It's from uh, Be Quiet. You know, the quality is just going to be up there. Right, so we've got a hard drive cage. We've got uh, some screws. We've got some um, cable ties from Be Quiet. Then we've got the screws in which you put fans into. So it's better than nothing. Let's uh, have a look at it, is it? Right, so from the initial locks, it's a very nice looking case. Very nice looking. Uh, it does hold up to ATX, and what it does hold up to, it, uh, let's have a look. Right, let's have a look. It does ATX, Mini ATX, Flex ATX, and Micro ATX. So this does fit a range of motherboards. It's got an RGB strip at the, on the front by here. Uh, it has a cover by here, which may have a look. See what this does. Put back there. This is good. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, they're covers. Oh, what? Oh, there's already a drive cage in here, but we'll get to that. These are covers. So it does come with a one. 40 silent wing three uh, fan in the front it comes with a 140 in the back and that is pretty much it so it does hold a 140 you can put 120s and i believe in the back you can also do 120s yes 120s it does hold a 120 so this uh ooh, it's got these little covers by here which I'm assuming they're going to be held in from the back. We've got a cable guy. The Silent Wings 3. So let's open the back. 
cheap one for that. Cap did some screws. Okay, oh, noise, noise dampening. Then we've got a, right, so we have got a fan controller here, which controls all the fans. It does control one, two, three, four, five, six. Six fans, and it also does RGB, which is five volt RGB. Eh, yeah, I guess I'm not exactly a fan of five volt, but it's better than nothing. Uh, we've also got a drive bay here. This is more of like a uh, premium server based thing because if you look by right here, these little things, these are for like hard drives, so you can like just take this out. So uh, we've got all the connections by right here. It is. 5 volt RGB I don't like that but obviously it all depends on your user case uh, this can be um, swapped so it takes out by sure these screws take them out and then you can swap it all the way around then the other side so right so we've got this little slit up here for airflow on the top which you can see by there right there so yeah, uh, the top holds a 360. So we'll get have a look at that now. Right, so we have this. We have an uh, an SSD cage by here. We've also got another tube here behind the motherboard tray. We take this off. The big cutout right here for the motherboard is very large. It's got rubber grommets for the cable throughs, which are very nice. Not many cases do rubber grommets anymore. Which is a very nice look. I like the old uh, look of the um, rubber grommets because it make it makes it look more of a premium style. Now a lot of case manufacturers are kind of going away from that, <clears throat> but this case has a lot of airflow. Now the front, the front has this by here, this mesh on both sides, which this can be pulled off. Okay. There we go pulled off so that's pulled off that's quite thick with an aluminium base plate which is very nice look at that that's very nice and then we've got a big huge uh, this big massive dust filter very very nice quality so oh you can right so you can three a 360 360 right up here and it looks like no I'm assuming it'd be a 360 um, a 280 or a 240 so that's quite nice a lot of room uh, the these by here doesn't have any dust filtration but because of this you don't really need it so you just put that back in uh, dust I mean for airflow I, I, I assume it'd be fine but obviously Steve from Gims Nexus wouldn't probably agree but I don't really care what he has to say so so look at the back. Right, so seven expansion slots. We have got a slot here for a vertical uh, uh, C GPU. We've got the bracket here for the power supply. But from the looks of it, the power supply it can hold it massive. So as you can see by there, as you can see, that is huge. Now. If you took out this hard drive cage, you could fit any size power supply in this case. Any size. It wouldn't matter what size. It wouldn't matter how big anything. So, that's very nice. Now, <coughs> uh, the full features of this case is more of a server-based case. Because it has a lot of hard drive, a lot of hard drive uh, spaces, as, lo as well as SSDs. So... As you can see here, these are little cages, which I'm assuming can be pulled out. Will they look? Oh, yeah. Right, that, yeah. Right, so. Let's have a look inside, because I want to pull out some of this stuff. Right, does this top come off? Oh, it's screwed in. Yeah, that's what it looks. Yeah, it's screwed in, it is. Yeah, all right. Massive power button. Right, so let's have a look at this screw. Right on. Take that off. Oh, you've got a car. Right, there's a cover that oh it's got fan mounts okay so that's good 
Ooh, right, okay, so looks like you can put a 120 or 140 by here in there, 140 or 120. Uh, it's very premium looking case design. It has these little slits by here for the fan cables. Uh, it does include fans, 140, 140 at the back. Uh, it's these little covers that are more interesting. I believe these are just covers to make it look more tidier. But me personally, if I was to use this case, I wouldn't really use that feature. I would take them out because the more airflow you've got, the better. Let's try and... Uh, bloody hell. Come on, get it. There we go. Right, so. So instead of this case trying to shock me three times... It's very nice, very nice quality, very nice. I believe this is more of their um, server-based cases because you can fill a lot of hard drives. So it's just one of them things. I mean, me personally, I'm going to put my test bench in this and so then over time I can start updating things. So yeah, this is my server base. is going to be my test bench because it's quite large inside. I can fit a numerous of things because the top right here also fits a 360 and it's also extruded from the side and this comes out Ooh, let's have a look at that lens eh? right so i will be back Okay, so I've got my E-Tech next handy dandy toolkit. So, let's have a look. So, I need this one. Okay, ooh, it's a bit stiff. But oh well. Okay, so. Now, radiator support is major these days because this... You've got the 360s, you've got the 320s, you've even got the 520s, you know, they're, they're just so big these days. Oh, look at that. So that's what I meant. This is, it's pulled out on the side, so it means that getting uh, your 8-pin and your other cables up here, like your fan cables, wouldn't be a problem. So this is why I want to use this for my test bench, because it's got this little pull-out tray. So it'll be a lot easier for me to... You know, essentially just you know pull out things it'd be a lot easier for me that's for damn sure so yeah i mean very nice looking case it does come with accessories it is also a very uh i'd say it's about the same size as my 500 d uh 5000 5000 d airflow from corsair so it's quite large uh more of a mid tower but it's bigger than the um the <coughs> the power base the uh, 500 dx from be quiet so this is a lot larger than that i'll do that later <coughs> so so then that's the unboxing of the dark base 700 from be quiet hope you enjoyed the video i hope you liked i hope you really enjoyed because with the heat wave in Wales at the at this time, uh, yesterday and the day before, I couldn't film anything. Today is a lot cooler, so I can film something, thankfully. So yeah, uh, I have got the Silent Wings four, four fans coming as well for a review. I've got a lot of stuff coming uh, to review as well from Thermorite, a lot of coolers, and I've got more stuff coming. So yeah. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. Have a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And goodbye.